Hello boys and girls. Welcome back to Madam T Mathematics class. Today, we are going to solve division number sentences by using multiplication table. Okay, hari ini kita nak guna jadual sifir untuk mencari jawapan bagi soalan bahagi division. Alright, when you see the question like this, 18 dy 3 equal to what? Alright, this means that what times 3, you will get 18. Okay, untuk dy, untuk soalan bahagi, kita boleh terbalikkan. Maksudnya, Apa times dengan 3, kita akan dapat 18. Okay, like this. What times 3, you will get 18. So, this one, we need to refer to times table of 3. Rujuk pada jadual sifir 3. Yang paling bagus, anda sudah hafal. Okay, if you not yet memorize, you can refer to your times table. Alright, now, what times 3 you get? 18. So now, you find where is 18. This is 18, right? So, 6 times 3 is 18. So, means that the answer here is 6. 18 divided 3, you get 6. Okay, number 2. Number 2, 12 divided 3 equals to what? So, if I want to do multiply, it will become like this. What times 3 equal to 12? Now, you find where is 12 here. Okay, 4 times 3 equal to 12. So, the answer here is 4. Next one, number 3. 24 divided 3 equal to what? So it means that what times 3 equal to 24. So now you find 24. This is 24. 8 times 3. So here is 8. The answer is 8. Number 4. What divided 3 equal to 9? So I can write like this, 9 times 3 equal to what? Okay, so now I find here, 9 times 3 equal to 27. 27. So, the answer is 27. And number 5, what divide 3 equal to 7? Means that 7 times 3. So now, I have to find 7 times 3. 7 times 3 equal to 21. So the answer is 21. Next one. Alright, 24 divided 8 means that what times 8? I get 24. So now I need to refer to 8 times table. Okay, 24 here. 3 times 8. So the answer is 3. Number 2, 40 divided 8 equal to what? Means that what times 8 equal to 40? So I find 40. This is 40. 5 times 8. So the answer here is 5. Number 3, 72 divided 8 equal to what? Means that what times 8 equal to 72? So now I find 72 here. 9 times 8. So the answer is 9. Number 4, what divide 8 equal to 6? Means that 6 times 8 equal to what? So now 6 times 8 is 48. The answer is 48. And the last one, Means that 7 times 8 equal to what? 
7 times 8 is 4, 56. So the answer is 56. Now let's look at this question. Use the numbers in the diagram to form two division number sentences. Maksudnya, kena guna nombor-nombor di sini. Bentukkan dua number sentences untuk bahagi, untuk divide. Alright, tengok tengah-tengah. Divide 6. Okay, so this question, you must write divide 6 at the middle, right? Mesti tulis divide 6 dekat tengah kan? Okay, so the first one, I will put like this. What? dy6 equal to what? This is for first number sentence. Okay, number sentence yang pertama. Next one, I will put what dy6 equal to what? So this is second number sentence. Number sentence yang kedua. Okay, sekarang saya kena ambil nombor di atas masuk di sini. Okay, for the first one, untuk nombor di depan, here, do you still remember this is total? Okay, I have to write total here. Kalau total, mesti nombor yang besar. Must be, must be a bigger number at the front here because this is total. Alright, so now I choose 48 first. Okay, I choose 48. And then you refer to your 6 times table. Rujuk sifir 6. Okay, then you find 48. Cari 48. Okay, 6. What? What times 6 you get 48? What? Times 6, you get 48. So, is 8. Alright, so 8 ini dah turun ke sini. Okay, now left. 18 and 3. Tinggal 18 dengan 3. So, now second number sentence. Like just now, at the front here, I have to... Put a bigger number. Saya kena letak nombor yang lebih besar sebab total. Alright, so 18 and 3, which is bigger? 18, right? So I write here 18. And then, you refer to your 6 times table. What times 6 you get 18? What times 6 you get 18? Is it 3? Is it 3? Yes. So, like this. Sudah bentuk number sentence. Two number sentence. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you.